From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. And thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kevin Hogan. As we have said this weekend, the positivity rate for COVID-19 in our state has climbed to 2.4%. Meanwhile, coronavirus cases are climbing around the country, raising concerns we will be hit with another COVID-19 wave this fall. The latest numbers from John Hopkins University shows there are now more than 8 million cases in the U.S. Officials in New York are already making plans to deal with the potential problem. We are now going to analyze it on the block by block level. Democrats are calling on Donald Trump's administration to take action, demanding the Department of Health and Human Services release $9 billion in funding for a COVID testing and tracing program. New Haven detectives are investigating the death of a 44-year-old woman in an apartment on Quinnipiac Avenue last night. Police responded after a 911 emergency call of a person shot inside the apartment. The victim was pronounced dead at the scene with a gunshot wound to the head. The unidentified woman's remains were taken by the chief state's medical examiner's office for autopsy, and that case remains under investigation. And staying in New Haven County now, where Hamden detectives are investigating the town's latest homicide. Officers responding just before 9 last night to a report of shots fired. This is in the 300 block of Goodrich Street. It's a story we first brought you last night at Eyewitness News at 11. Inside, they found two gunshot victims. One identified as 28-year-old John Ratliff, was later pronounced dead at the hospital. The other victim was treated for a gunshot wound to the arm. Anyone with information in the case is asked to contact Hamden Police. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Lauren Richardson here with your Channel 3 forecast, and we are looking at temperatures tonight that are not going to be as chilly exactly as last night, which is some good news. But let's take a look out there at our iCam. This is a look in New London. You can see it is quiet. It is clear at the moment, and we do have some milder temps on the way for our work week ahead and a dry week as well. Not a lot of rain in the forecast. Those temperatures right now you could see are mainly in the 50s and also maybe the upper 40s in some areas with lows tonight in the 40s and the upper 30s. It's still going to be pretty chilly out there as well. The temperatures for the next couple days, you can see we are looking at temperatures in the 60s on Tuesday and in the 70s as well on Wednesday. Eyewitness News is everywhere. Get the latest in-depth headlines anytime on the Channel 3 streaming news app.